You know, lots of people get stage fright, butterflies or sweaty palms when facing an audience. I can recall about 20 years ago, I filled in for a local sportscaster in Washington, D.C. for the first time, and safe to say I was pretty nervous. Wish I had a tape of that one. But you can beat stage fright, and here to show us how is Robert Reiner, a clinical psychologist and director of Behavioral Associates here in New York City. And good morning, Doctor. Good morning. How are you? Right so here. help me understand why in the world does nervousness cause such a strong reaction in people's bodies and in their brains? Well, it kicks off what's called the fight or flight response. And to the body, it can't discriminate the kind of nervousness you feel from the first day of work, from running for your life. It's the same thing. It's a very powerful but primitive system in the brain. Wow, comparable to running for your life? Yeah, there's no difference. Okay, now you say there are some strategies for dealing with this. Let's start with the first one, mm -hmm. role-playing. What do you mean by that? Well, role-playing would be if you're facing a situation that you're going to be nervous in, say your first day of work, either in your imagination or with a friend in real life, imagine you're going through the situation. The trick is you want to be realistic about it. You don't want to, it, it's a coping model, so mm -hmm. you're managing it. You're not mastering the situation. Mm -hmm. Be realistic. Okay, that but makes a lot of if sense. If you go through it early, You've had prior experience with it, like a flu shot. Mm -hmm. Kind of like psycho-cybernetics to me. You also mentioned that aerobic exercise can decrease anxiety. So how does that work? Uh, that's, a, that's an important thing. That's why health clubs are so valuable. If you get aerobic exercise, it has an anti-anxiety effect, like a tranquilizer, a natural tranquilizer. Is there a better time than another to exercise? I would say about an hour before you're going to go through a situation that might make you nervous. I'd recommend get a lot of aerobic exercise, and take a shower, relax, you'll be in good shape. Now, at one point, speaking of being in good shape, I did have a six-pack before. Now I have a one-pack, so that leads me to this one. You mentioned that abdominal exercise is very important. Belly breathing. Belly, uh, belly breathing. Be a technique we borrowed from the yoga. Well, okay. All right, go ahead. I'll show you how to do it. See you want to, right here, right here, all movement is in the right hand. In my case, with two huh. hands here, right? But right. go ahead. This has to be still. <laughs> belly, watch this. Somehow like that, that. Uh, that felt better than I'm sure it looked now, and sounded, but anyway, right. go ahead. <laughs> we did a duet. A little duet there. Yeah. And that really does work. It really does. And the more you do it, the more powerful the response becomes. Mm -hmm. People do it a lot when they can't sleep, for example. Kind of interesting, this next one you mentioned. You say, imagine that you are actually someone else. Well, yeah. Pick a person who you uh, know to be a relaxed person you'd like to emulate. And imagine you're that person. Now, that kind of imagery really seems to calm people down. It'll give you something to focus on. Mm -hmm. Is there anything that you should um, avoid in preparing for a major event? Good question. I'm glad you asked. Avoid um, escaping or avoiding worrying about something. If you say, don't think about that, stuff like that, that kind of defensive posture is no good. You make the situation worse. The brain says, if I'm avoiding this, it must be dangerous, and it actually makes it worse. Can't imagine Tracy Smith was ever experiencing stage fright. <laughs> you know, fright, I right? was just going to say the same thing about you. I mean, this is a guy who has done what? The NBA Finals, NCAA Finals, the Super Bowl. Wow. Do you get nervous when you, when you take on something like the Saturday Early Show? You know what? Not if I'm prepared. The nerves, I think, actually works in my favor. Now, in if favor. I'm not prepared, that hurts. And that's the cat. thing. You can use it. Mm -hmm. How bad that Dr. Look, Rob Reiner, thanks so much. The breathing. <laughs> Let's do it again. You're watching the Saturday Early Show on CBS. <laughs>
<laughs> but you also mentioned that there's a little trick for you that works in uh -huh. terms of what you keep in your car. What is it and why? Well, I keep a barbell in my car. It, uh, if I'm frustrated in traffic, uh, it seems to help. It, it throws off the anxiety. Uh, it gets the juice out of the system. Now, you really? know, that, that's got to be an interesting sight, the guy riding down the street. And, yeah, it's worse than that. I play harmonica.